Holy cow. So we are back after 10, no wait, a full year. We we're back at Julie's house to try and finish the job. Floors are in, walls are painted, and it looks like we can begin doing the last half of our work. But there's actually more work that I gotta do now than before because we have a ton of new stuff. So let's get started. But first, a word from our sponsor. Exter. Exter wallets redefine the conventional wallet with their ultra slim, sleek, and minimalistic designs that can store up to 12 cards plus cash. They have high quality selections like Italian leather, space grade aluminum, and even vegan leather. Their wallets also provide RFID protection from wireless theft and an optional solar power tracking device that lets you track and find your wallet from a smartphone. Get up to 40% off on your next purchase on Exter wallets using the link or offer code below just in time for a Christmas stocking stuffer. Now the situation downstairs hasn't really changed. It clearly still needs to be renovated. There are electrical boxes hanging from the ceiling still, and there's a lot of work that still needs to happen down here. However, I'm not here for that. I'm just here to, you know, get the network stuff installed. And there are some things installed already, like cameras, if you remember from the previous video, and access points. We actually need to find better homes for those, and we actually have a network rack now. So that also needs to go up so we can move all of the equipment into the rack. So it's just not like sitting out everywhere uh, and getting dust all over it. All right, here is the network closet. As some of you probably remember, I haven't been in here in over a year, but there are cobwebs building up. There's no way you're gonna see that. Uh, a lot of stuff has been moved into here, but not really much has changed. Pretty much left everything sitting in here, but now we have power and there are cobwebs all over everything in here. So uh, all these cables, there's probably spider nests somewhere in here, but all of these cables have cobwebs all over them, um, like right there. So we're gonna come in here, get all of this stuff cleaned out so I have a space to work. And then I think we're gonna put our network rack somewhere right about there. So let me start on that. All right, here's our server rack. This is a uh, Nave Point server rack, maybe 15U. I don't actually know uh, because, well, I didn't buy it. So I don't know which one she ended up going with. Well, we'll find out here in a minute. So we gotta get this thing assembled. Uh, this is gonna sit on the floor. This will not be wall mounted, uh, which is fine. Oh, this looks like a 12U actually. All right, whatever. Get this thing assembled, it's gonna take a while. Bye. 
All right, this is about where I think the rack should go. Uh, we're gonna plug it into this outlet here where currently um, this, I don't even wanna call it a uh, power strip, but this power strip is powering on all of these devices up here. So we're gonna get that rack plugged in with our PDU here. This will go away and all of this will be moved into the rack. So I got a little ahead of myself. Before I actually start unplugging everything, what I wanna do is actually label the known working cables, but I know, or I think from last time we were here, these cables were mislabeled. So I'm gonna unplug them, see which camera comes off, and then as soon as I see what camera or whatever comes offline, I'm just gonna slap a label on it. So that way we don't forget what it is in the future. And we're gonna be here for a while making cables. So, uh, montage! Okay, so I decided instead of making every single individual cable, what I would do is go ahead and get everything set back up the way it was. So we have Wi-Fi, the cameras are up, or the existing cameras are operational. And uh, instead of also wasting time making cables, I would go ahead and get everything off of the Unify, or I'm sorry, the Cloud Key. Yeah, the Unify Cloud Key Plus, or Gen 2, whatever they call it to the UDM Pro SE. So I'm gonna get this mounted and um, get everything, all the configuration, all that jazz moved over. So that's gonna be uh, a little bit of work, but it needs to get done so that way at least the cameras are operational before I leave, uh, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to make all of these cables today or tonight. One of the last things I'll be doing is shucking this 14 terabyte hard drive from Best Buy. So this is pretty popular if you wanna get cheap storage or storage on the cheap. Uh, so that way you can have massive amounts for like way less than you would normally pay for a 14 terabyte hard drive. Um, I don't know what we paid for this. Uh, I just w was like, hey, keep a lookout for sales. If you see it go on sale, buy it, don't hesitate. And we'll be ripping out the 14, ter ter bleh, 14 terabyte Try hard drive in this and sticking it into our UDM Pro SE. So um, I don't actually care if this gets broken because we don't 
intend on keeping it forever. So I need to get this hard drive removed. Now, like I just mentioned, I don't care if this breaks because we do not intend on ever returning this to its factory um, configuration, I guess. So we're just gonna try and remove this the hard way. Don't care if anything breaks. Uh, now there are definitely ways to remove these these hard drives without breaking the uh, case. There's tons of tutorials online. Hell, I've even done one. Highly recommend checking those out. This is actually a lot harder to do without the proper tools. Oh hey, I didn't actually break any tabs. Nice. Normally I break the tabs on those. All right, now just to get the driver moved. So this video is definitely going to be like two, three, four, maybe, maybe, hopefully not four parts, but three parts for sure at this point. Um, so I was supposed to install an access point up here today. Unfortunately, it's basically nighttime and there's not really a lot of outlets to work with to get light. Um, so I'm just really limited on what I can do. Also, I'm being rushed to get home. So didn't install the access point here in the kitchen. This will be the kitchen. Uh, another reason why I didn't do that is because even though the walls are painted and the floors are down, it still seems like they're gonna come back in here and repaint these walls. There's actually um, markings or drawings on a lot of the walls in here. Let me show you what that looks like. So this is either vandalism or just, you know, somebody drawing in here for fun. And, the, and that's kind of dangerous because I know if there's like markings on the wall there, if I install an access point here, we're gonna have to take it down again or they're just gonna paint around it. And I don't want that to happen to the homeowner. I'd rather them just be uh, painted and done. And also you can kind of see here too, like there's like two different shades of color here. So I'm pretty much banking on the fact that they're gonna have to uh, repaint this whole area and I don't wanna install an access point up there that gets painted around. Okay, here there used to be a chimney, but now this is, I'm guessing where a TV is gonna go. And there's actually an ethernet cable right here uh, that can be used for, I guess, access points or cameras. It's really undefined. I was gonna stick a camera in here, a th AI 360 camera to really watch the area. But again, there's um, some, some writing here that says fireplace. Uh, there's some drawings on this wall. So I have a feeling this is gonna get repainted in the future and I didn't wanna install anything and again, have it repainted around. And just to give you guys an idea of all the work that's left in maybe do at least up, well, not just upstairs, there's even more. So this is the kitchen area. Uh, this is the old fireplace. Uh, I'm going to go with formal dining slash dining area. And then here is the living room. Um, there is going to be a ethernet drop way over there. And I have to, well, one day I'm going to, come on camera, focus. Uh, so one day there will be a drop there that I'll add, but I don't know when I'm going to get to it. Actually, you can, well, maybe not you guys, but there's the ethernet cable right there, just hanging out, ready to be plugged in. Got to do that. Down that way are more bedrooms uh, that all have ethernet drops. So I've got to make those ends, but nothing down there is finished. You can actually see the floors just kind of aren't done yet. So we're not gonna even bother with that area. Now, lastly, on the other side of this door is another ethernet drop that hangs actually down from below the soffit. Originally, I was intending on putting a camera just kind of like up there watching down the stairs. Uh, but however, I think we might be able to add a doorbell instead. Um, that's something I got to talk to the homeowner about and see if we could actually do. If not, we're just going to stick a camera up there. Uh, I ran out of time. I couldn't make all the cables to figure out where that camera is or where that cable is downstairs anyway in the server closet. So that's just going to have to ha wait till next time because there's just so many drops. Each There's like one, two, three. Three bedrooms on this floor, two bedrooms upstairs, I believe. So that's five ethernet drops there. There's one, two, three, four more. So that's nine drops just on this floor that I can remember. There's probably another one here. Oh, there's another wireless access one, access point upstairs. So that's 10 drops. And there's at least one, two, three. There's at least six more down in the basement. Uh, so 
It's a lot of work, and we only have four drops done, I believe. Four or five drops actually done. So we, I actually came in here before and made a bunch of cables in the previous video, but now I'm undoing those because we have patch panels, uh, which is something I was afraid of was gonna happen. So unfortunately I have to undo all those cables and also figure out where they go on the outside of the house. And there's even more drops outside of the house, which I haven't even mentioned. So yeah, I guess we're gonna wrap up here and uh, see you guys for part two or part three, geez.